Hey guys, Utes99 here. I'm here with uh, sad news for all the people who have and uh, will play on uh, the server called Lichcraft here. I'm sorry all of you is from uh, Cubecraft. This video is not for you. This is not PvP. This is for the other server I play on Lichcraft here where um, one of the staff members went full batshit insane and he's kind of probably going to uh, delete the server. So, I'm gonna make a real, like, memory thing. You know, back in the day I had this show-off series where I would show off all my builds, and now it's basically like a show-off series for all the builds on Lich. So this is um, a house I build on survival on Lich. And it, it, it is nothing special, because I'm, I'm not a builder. I sucked at building, got a little sewer going that I never finished, so yeah. I'll quickly show some other builds. This is um, Kim Kim's town, ex Kim uh, X's town, where a lot of her friends got invited to, to build their own house, build their own stuff, and I'm just making a memory of it today, so that when the server or I mean if it does get deleted then I can upload this and people can relive well some people can relive the stuff that they've done or built on here like this beautiful windmill is pretty good made uh, and you have this hotel they were working on it for so long Every time I, I was just randomly in my house because no other servers were up than survival. I just saw people working on it, so. Yeah. And then we have this. No clue what this is. But that's pretty much Kim's town, I think. And I have one more home. Uh, house. Wait, no. Ho home old claim. Home old claim. Because this was some other stuff from Lishcraft, yeah. I'm gonna just put on tab so you know if people watch this in a couple years, they're like, oh, those people? Oh, I knew that dude. Because you get that a lot with like the layers on Lich now. It's like, whoa, I saw you years ago. Wow, man. So this town. Um, well, it was beginning to be a town, but one of the members had a fight with someone else that owned the claim, kinda. And, uh, yeah, they had to move on, so Kim made that new town, <laughs> Ligma. Alright, gonna quickly fly over to spawn, or what? I, I mean, like, teleport over to spawn. So people can, uh, you know, see what spawn looked like. If they were ever to rebuild uh, everything that was here, then um, this video might be of use, I guess. I don't know what this. I don't know if this is. Okay, this is the store because I don't play survival. But I'm not making it for those people. I'm making it for the people that want to remember the server. And I want to make this for the people who just want to look back on stuff they've built. And stuff they've done. And stuff they've played on. Because it's always sad to see a server go where you've, play, um, where you've used a lot of hours on. So yeah. I've also... Myself, uh, have been, I've been playing a lot of factions on the server, but um, I think factions is down because it has been for a long time now, so I can't really make a memory of that, which is kind of sad, but yeah, so that's all you're going to have to see from survival right now. Let's see if factions is up, because you never know. Um prison we go all right I'll just uh, go to every block 
and show you a little bit of it. So this is, wait, let me start in the spawn area of course, and then I'll uh, cut out the running to each block part. So yeah, this spawn area. I'll do the parkour last. And yeah. So you have a C, D, E, E. Okay. And yeah. Good stuff. Okay, I'll go over to A real quick. Here we are. At A. Block A. Block A is the nether block where you come into this big ass nether fortress when you come in. It's like pretty menacing I'd say. Looks pretty good. It's a bit dark around here but that's alright. Now you have the mines. Oh the mines. The mines are over there. I'll go there in a sec. But first, okay. Let me check this out because this has yeah magma magma cube spawners and, and blaze spawners. You have the cell box over there. And then you have the mines. Now let, let me just quickly say what I accomplished on the server. I know <laughs> people will not care. But I've been secretly working on this. And I'm the only one with 1k unarmed now. And well yeah. There's no one to PvP. But it was fun doing it I guess. Mine A has about three times the amount of big, um, end portal frame blocks than the old mine. And I think the ores are about the same. So that's about it. Hmm. If people were ever to rebuild the server, you know, like they did, then uh, this video might be of help. As I've already said. So this block A. And I'll, I'll go over to block B. Here we are at block B. B um, has always been my favorite block. Because I love the way it looks. Block B is just beautiful. Now, I know that if the server dies now, server never got... I mean, prison never got a, its full potential. Because a lot of things haven't been fixed. Like, I mean, the farm doesn't automatically replace the stuff there are no quests stuff like that and like all the mines were imbalanced and still are as I've told you about a so yeah then you have the secret entrance to the me the meteorite I think so that's pretty fun Maybe the fishing area oh the fishing area <laughs> on old glitch I'd have these uh, these uh, swimming battles in here with speed 2. Like Depth Strider just came out while I was playing prison. And we were just fucking around with Depth Strider. That was so fun. Alright. Quick show of the mine. And the smelting rooms. Ta-da, cell signs and everything. There's a couple sticks in here. Yeah, as you can see, B mine is way different than it used to be. B mine had the same amount of ores as A, only no beacon blocks. And now it has only a couple diamonds, so yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, on to C. Here we are at mine C. Let's see what's in here. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Um. Alright, if you remember, C had a quest where you had to kill guardians in Old Lich. Now, this quest wasn't here, so you wouldn't have to uh, get the guardian kills, but I'll still show the guardian pool, because that was so frustrating. Just killing all of these guardians. Now you have the sugarcane farm, which was actually the only farm in this whole server that was alright money. And alright herbalism. You have the three buildings. I won't go in into these buildings though, because I mean you can put the inside as whatever, because no one has a reason to go into these buildings unless a quest was a quest was attached. Alright. Block C underground. It's a train station, as you might have guessed. 
just train right here. I think they had um, a skeleton spawner, an old lich over there, but it has been removed as far as I know. Oh no, that was that was even older prison. I mean, I'm not sure actually. Hmm. But now there isn't a skeleton spawner. Now here's a stove room. Then you have the mo holy shit. Well, you have the mines here. And I've seen they placed a couple anvils. There used to be one anvil per crafting bench, but I see they got tired of replacing them. So they just placed a bajillion of them. So that works, I guess. So B is the enchanting block where everybody goes to enchant. C is the anvil block where everybody goes to, you know, fix their stuff. And why does he care? Oh yeah, that's MC Top. This is all the players that are online and right now, if you want to remember them. Vortexinator, of course, uh, was uh, the player with the highest X's on Old Prison. And he is the first one to get guard on this prison. So yeah, still back into the no life. Just shows how people still are devoted to Lich. Anyways... Off to D. Alright, we've arrived. Block D. Sorry, I got a bit distracted while walking over here because me and Vortex were talking. Oh. I'm C top and armed. Yes, that's my project. Yay. That's the only thing I did in this whole prison. Get 1k unarmed so I could unarm people in PvP. I already said that. Okay. I'm here to remember d block so this is the selling block i won't go into the houses that are not important because i mean they've been locked <laughs> up anyways i guess and then this is the house where the mine is now let me tell you a quick story about d mine d mine was overpowered on this server like n it was better than b mine for some reason so i told staff and they changed it and like the next morning, everybody's like, why is D-Mine bad now? And I had to be quiet about it. So, <laughs> I guess that was kind of fun. Yay. Unarmed. Okay. Cows. Oh yeah, you can kill the cows now. That's pretty fun. So here's the graveyard with the cow spawners. And here's the farm. The farmhouse. You can sell your cow meat. There's a cow spawner here. There's a wheat farm here. I think this used to be a potato farm, actually. But now it's a wheat farm. And a birch tree farm. So, yeah, that's block D pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I can... I'll just walk over here real quick. But there's nothing in any of these buildings. So, it is useless to go in here. But it looks kind of nice. I'll say that. Um... Yeah. Lich library. <laughs> Fun stuff. Alright, off to E. Here we are at E. Which has, for some reason, banners on the <laughs> freaking letter. <laughs> Anyways. E was my second most loved block. Uh, because this is also just a beautiful block. I mean, the walls are kind of fucking crap. They used to be better on old Lich. But, I mean... They have way less builders and staff now, so I totally don't care about that. They have did, did a great job hosting the server, and people were having fun. So this is the villager trade area, also never got finished. So there is one villager in there, though, which has an infinity book for bows. So I guess that's good. You can abuse and use that. And, of course, the tree farm and the sheep. Which is useless. E mine is the only mine in like whole of Lich that has stayed the same. So E mine is exactly the same as it used to be an old Lich, which I think is pretty good. It's a pretty good thing. They should have done it for all mines, because then it would have been balanced. And now in just a couple days, someone could get 120 mil <coughs> vortex. They shouldn't have done it, but 
I mean, maybe they sensed this coming, so they had to make it overpowered. So people could have all their fun in just the short term. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there's only one more block left to go. Here we arrive at F block. F block. Now, F block is useless. And it was also on the old server useless. Because what you needed to rank up from F block was 50,000, um, well, money, I guess. <laughs> and if you did the parkour, which you can do once per 24 hours, as I will show you later, um, you would get $200,000. So you would already be able to rank up from E straight away. And then, I mean, rank up from F straight away to E. So no one would care about F. And that's why there was always like no one in F anyways. They should have done something about it. Like if you were in F block, you weren't able to do the parkour, something like that. Or you wouldn't be able to get the reward because it wasn't really set up that right. Anyways, here's the cell, uh, cell signs for F. And here's the mine. It looks kind of similar, similar to E to me. But it probably has a little bit less ores and a little bit more dirt. Hmm. Okay, we got two blocks left to go. And I'll see you there in a bit. Here we've arrived at Donator Block. Now, Donator Block was exactly the same to E, only it looked different, of course. And uh, there was a fishing quest that could only be done if you got the fishing rod from B. So, fishing rods would always sell for a high price in Auk, which I thought was kind of funny. And now it's blocked off, because they've never finished this block. Because, I don't know, it would, it would be so much more pay to win. But actually it doesn't, because you can rank up from F to E straight away, and if the block has a similar mind to E, then it doesn't really matter, right? Anyways... Um, here we are at Market. Now, Market was a desert, which had also a fun little set of quests where you had to get into the one tower, but uh, people n were never able to find which tower it was. <laughs> so that was quite fun. Then you have the sign that everybody goes to, end portal frame sign. Do I have an end portal frame to sell? Yes, I do. There we go. 3,000 has been added to my account. Fun. <laughs> See, people are still trying to put fishing rods in the auction. See, the thing is, PvP is messed up. So you can uh, fishing rod someone in the safe zone. It doesn't really hurt them, but you can push them with it. Or, like, push them off parkour. Anyways, this is where the portals and stuff are. To overworld, nether, and end, and all that. And then you have the big palace. Would you look at that? Underground is closed. <laughs> yeah. End closed. Oh, they never made the end. Because they didn't think people would get guard that soon. Uh, here we go. This is where the quest guy would be that will give you all the quests. Now that's kind of fun. One of the quests was to go up to that, or the other waterfall. Oh no, there was only one waterfall, yeah, it was up to, to get up to that waterfall over there. So that's Market Block. I'm going to quickly show you guys the parkour, and then I'm done with this video. Ah, we finally made it to parkour. Now, this parkour is different from Old Lich parkour. I would say it has become a lot more easier. One alt allowed is because people would use about 7 alts per day on the parkour to get like 1.4 mil. Um, I've done a speed run on this. It's on the forums and it's on my channel, I think. But this is just for fun. Usually if I was bored, I would start doing the parkour. See, I, I made a fail right there. That's the only jump I keep failing at, pretty much. So I told you about that way. 
slash the player vortexinator. That's a glitch, yeah, by the way. You can go invisible, and it's not allowed, but it doesn't matter right now because, you know, server's gonna be, be deleted. Now the parkour can go two ways from here. You can go this, or you can go this way. Depends on what you want to do. That way is faster, but this way is safer. If you're really bad at parkour, you usually take the safer way. If you're trying to speedrun it or just have fun like me, I usually take the speedrun way. That's also a pretty hard jump, but it doesn't matter if you fail that. There's like only one hard jump in it, I think. And there's, there's a couple three block one up jumps, but you can momentum all of them like this one or this one. So they're pretty easy. So that's the parkour. And this is uh, on top of the parkour. I, I recently made a screenshot over here because look at the view. It's just beautiful. Anyways, you can't get on top of the mountain anymore, by the way. They removed it. This is a skull, by the way. That's pretty fun. And then there's a sign, of course. I won't be clicking it yet. Well, actually, I can because I have done it last night. Yeah, 11 hours, 20 minutes, 34 seconds. And you can see all the blocks from here. If you've got your render distance up, of course. And, yeah. So, the reason I was able to make this video is because... Uh, the co-owner took over all perms and apparently he's busy right now but he'll come back later and like remove the server so this sir this video is for all of those that want to look back on their fun stuff and uh, yeah I guess that's it for today this is not a really fun video or I mean, a cool PvPing video. This is not for the cube crafters, as I've already said. If you are a cube crafter and you've watched this entire video, then, uh, well, you've <laughs> seen what I've been doing when I wasn't on Cubecraft. I was playing this with all of my mates and my friends. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's it. And, uh,. I'm gonna have to say uh, goodbye, everybody.